What's up, my Fina loves? It's this Fina D coming to you all from Fina Entertainment on Filter. I know I've been gone for a while. I apologize for my absence. For those of you who are aware, I do have a main channel. So whenever I'm not posting on here consistently, you can catch me on my main channel. The link to my main channel is in the description below. One of the last videos that I posted was about Tiffany and Brad from Love is Blind, the most recent season. And that video got a lot of views. I'm not someone that's just going to post a couple because, oh, they got all of these views, so let me jump on the wave and things like that. I have to feel some form of connection and feel like, okay, they are worth posting and I feel there's something genuine going on and all of that. So a lot of you on my channel Instagram page, my main channel Instagram page, and you were in my DMs letting me know, hey, but we really loved the video you put together about Tiffany and Brett. So can you please, every now and again, update us on Tiffany and Brett? And then also I have my email address on my main channel so for those of you who are not on social media some of you also reach out to me to post an update about them since you're not on social media to see what they have been up to so since that last video they have celebrated their wedding anniversary went on some trips and all of that so that's the content i'm going to be posting today thank you all for the love and support and let's get into the video So this has been another surprising thing that has popped up since we've become public is it seems like a lot of people want a YouTube channel for us and it's something that I think would be cool but it just seems like a whole lot of work and time and I don't know if we have the time to juggle producing that much content but I personally would love to share and do it I just don't know if it's feasible I don't know what do you think babe mm. Um, I wouldn't mind doing a little travel vlog whenever we go out somewhere, but that's, that's, yeah, yeah. Like a travel videos, we can show them like what life is like traveling with the Browns, but a YouTube channel, not yet. <laughs> you heard it from her. So we got Brettany, Brephany, Brett Funny. Tiffrit. <laughs> Tiffrit? <laughs> That's a new one. I'd have to go with Brittany. I like Brittany too. You know, it, it, it just has a nice ring to it. Brittany. Somehow it's called on. I see the hashtag all the time, but definitely Brittany for the win. What do you think? <laughs> so, my skincare routine is actually pretty straightforward. Um, Uh, outside of getting my hair cut for the reunion, I've cut my own hair for like the last 10 years. So my hair, beard, everything I trim myself. Uh, I usually do like line up once a week and then like cut the fade like every other week. Outside of that, as far as skincare, I've actually never really yeah. used a lot of skincare <laughs> products. Um, I started doing like using like the human race, like three little uh, thing recently, but before that, the secret was just low stress. Wash my face with cold water in the mornings. That's pretty much it. But keeping stress low, I'd say it's honestly the biggest part. Ooh, this is a good question because I love to travel. I would say, in no particular order, uh, South Africa, Japan, and South Korea. They all seem like places very different than any place I've been to. Definitely different than any place here in America. Um, and yeah, we've got to make that happen pretty soon. Okay, I'm not even going to answer that question because the lady is here. <laughs> okay, 
I have not upgraded. I'm a big fan of Bay's luggage, but I, I don't I don't need like the big fancy brands for luggage. I like to spend my money when it comes to traveling to fancy places, so I'm saving up for, you know, a first class ticket and to go to a fancy hotel. That's it. My top dessert pick at a restaurant is no pick. I do not have a sweet tooth at all. Uh, it's not to say I don't like sweets, but honestly, I think I'd be fine if if, if I've never ate another slice of cake or pie, ice cream ever again in my life, I honestly think I'd be totally fine with that. You know, if we're out and like, you know, Tiffany orders something sweet, I'll like take a bite or two and then that's it. Uh, I just really can't eat a lot of sweets. Um, but I do, I do love like, like gummy snacks, like fruit snacks, specifically Gutchers, uh, and the, uh, like the Welch's food snacks that you can basically find anywhere. I am all about those. Like, I I'll, I'll go to the store every day. Well, not every day. But if I pick up a box, like that whole box is in, in like two hours. It's like a so this is a good question. This is the type of things that I actually love to talk about. Um, if you watch the show, you heard some of my story. So I've, I've definitely been through trials, tribulations, like we all do as humans. Um, through it all, I guess the one thing that I've learned and picked up is that life is a journey. Like, life is going to happen to all of us. And when I say life, what I mean is unexpected things that we have no control of and all we can do is react. Um, so when I look at things through that lens, it helps me honestly feel... Uh, level-headed because I don't think that any, things that come along the way are like the end-all be-all. It's just a step in the, in the journey. This, this is just a part of the plan. So, so what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Like I truly believe that. It's cheesy as it sounds. Uh, it's actually, this is a Emporio Armani shirt. Um, I actually wore a couple of shirts from this brand when I was on the show. I got a lot of messages from the show, excuse me, on the show about uh, shirt that I wore at the tux fitting. It was like a blue that had like ribs and stuff on it. Also, the Corio Armani. Um, and it comes to shirts and everything in general. I don't like flashy. I don't really like big logos and text. I like well-fitting, simplistic things that have texture and detail, um, which this shirt does. It's definitely uh, a little bougie, but you know, it's what you know, I think I'm like most casual people, and I was aware of F1, but the Netflix series Drive to Survive, has, which is an incredible series, has really turned me into a fan. So I'm eager to check out my first F1 race. I know there's a little, uh, they built the track down in Miami, and I used to live down in Miami, so I am dying to make it down there to check out my first F1 race in Miami. Ooh, this is a good question. Now, I've had a lot of bad dates, but I'd say the first one that comes to mind is the date I had when I lived in Portland. This girl I met or connected with through Instagram, talked back and forth, really connected, decided to meet up, and let's just say that she did not look the way that her pictures portrayed her to be. Uh, clearly, all her pictures were old, and she's a different person now. <laughs> with that being said, I was like, I'm here, I'm gonna give it a shot. We left the first spot, went and got drinks at the second spot. I left to go to the go to the bathroom. I come back, she's gone. She literally left out on the date, which didn't bother me because it wasn't really going that well. I texted the next morning like, hey, I wasn't really feeling you anyway, but that was still disrespectful to do that. She sends me a long text message like 12 hours later, like, hey, I'm sorry. I stepped outside to take a phone call and the person wouldn't let me get back in. Then I walked to my car to charge my phone and then I dropped it and it broke my phone. So I just got a new phone, so I'm just texting you back which is clearly a lie. I love, thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also, turn on notifications so when I do post you where they're posted, and I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.